take over. Tied up at 24, P734 left. Second quarter. Well, Chastity Melvin did have a little bit of contact there, but that had nothing to do with Angel McCautry's hand being under the ball. As you're on, slips through the defense but can't finish. Atlanta will look to run. Three on four the other way. Coco, secondary break. Castro Marquez, she could do that off the window. She's into double figures with 10. And Atlanta's back up by two. Well, she is like a train with no brakes when she's coming down on the fast break. You've got to get a hand up. And it can't be too late. Coleman for three. That's way off. And Castro Marquez gets bumped by Ashavon. That's the second team foul. First on the T, Ashavon. Curry's going to check back in for the Mystics. Ashavon will check out. Uh, but she was just a little bit late. Give her an A for effort in terms of trying to crash the offensive glass, but the timing is just off on that one. 26-24, Atlanta with the ball, 7.07 left in this first half. Well, this time of the year, defense is going to be paramount, and you see that Washington holds the league's best scoring defense, only allowing 73 points. But that can't happen. Easy buckets in the lane for Atlanta. Slicing through the Mystics defense. Angel McCautry, she's got nine. And the three back up by four. Harding the other way. Gets it knocked out of bounds by D'Souza. Atlanta's got to be careful. they got different players with two fouls. Little's on the bench with three. D'Souza's got two. A good defense on that particular play. Atlanta, by the way, perfect for the field. This quarter, five and five. Yep, that was a good defense they know a lot about one another in terms of what they want to do. Coleman cracking a three tipped out by Katie Smith. Mystics will reset. Solid play by Katie Smith offering another opportunity for Washington to score. Curry going to line up a three. That's short. And we got a loose ball foul going the other way. It's on the Mystics. On Coleman, that's her second. And it's the team's third. So Coleman trying to get going from beyond the arc. 0-2, though, as a team, 2-6 from distance. Right, and, and talking about Marissa Coleman in her second year out of the University of Maryland, injury plagued rookie season, had eight rebounds, five assists, two steals to go along with her, seven points in the victory at Atlanta on Sunday, so she's picking up the board work. Coco for three, got it to go. Missing a little zone there, and Atlanta makes it pay. They're up by seven. Eight in, run. Mm -hmm. In the zone, you have to rotate on the pass. Harding got her shot deflected, gets it back and scores. Well, smart play by Lindsay Harding, not to put her head down because she got it blocked with the stick with the play and finish. 31-26, 5.53 left. Second quarter gets zone defense by the Mystics. We don't see the play zone that often. But Cautry going to line up a triple, and she is feeling it. She's got 12. Well, Atlanta, they shoot 29% from behind the arc, so you want to maybe gamble that if you're Julie Plank and go into that zone, but those shots are going in right now for Atlanta, so you may want to cheat out to the shooters. Got a uh, foul on the country down low, but if you're a Mystics fan, that's the big concern. You don't want to let Angel McCautry get off 3 of 3 in the score to the 7 points. Time out on the court, 5.30 left here before the break. It's Atlanta leading the Mystics 34-26. You're watching the WNBA Eastern Conference playoffs on NBA TV. Atlanta with a eight-point lead over the Mystics, 34-26. We get a shot of uh, Wizards-to-be rookie for Trevor Booker. Yes. With a uh, Tampa Bay Rays hat, but I get it because that's his initials, TB. <laughs> or maybe he's just a Rays fan, but right, who knows. But I, I like the creativity there. He's on hand to watch the Mystics in Atlanta game one, Eastern Conference, WNBA playoffs, 5.30 left here before the break. Both teams going zone. And the story right now, Castro Marquez and McCautry, have combined for 22 points for Atlanta, 10 of 16 shooting, and it's Atlanta basketball after the miss by the Mystics. Well, that is just incredibly efficient by those two players leading this ball club. They want to get off that snide. They want to get a victory and go back to Atlanta on Friday night. That would be game two right now, game one. Coco Miller got hit by Coleman. That's her third, and she's going to go to the free throw line to shoot two. Well, that's going to be tough, and you saw that Marissa Coleman was not in defensive position right there when she went to contest the shot. She was coming from a tough spot on the court in that zone, 
to contest there and was off balance and knew that she fouled as soon as she made contact. Miller misses the uh, first free throw. Two of six as a team are the Atlanta Dream. We talked about Indiana and New York. They get going tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. And it's on ESPN2, so check that out. Because whoever wins that series faces the winner of this series in the finals in the East. Well, the Mystics beat New York last Friday by one point, but the lead changed four or five times in the last 30 seconds. 35-26, this matches the largest lead for Atlanta with five minutes left before halftime, a game of runs. Right now, Atlanta is taking advantage with a nine-point advantage. Well, both teams are gambling with going zone, trying to get the other team out of rhythm offensively. The Mystics had gotten it going a little bit, and now the zone has stifled their offensive movement. Langhorn off the window can't get it to fall. Atlanta trying to build on their 12-2 run for the last couple of minutes of moves. Look at Angel McCautry off the window. Well, she just weaved her way right through the guts of the Mystics transition defense. She's got 14 to lead all scores. Langhorn trying to work the Sousa, who's got those personal fouls, and she can't stop Langhorn. She scores. Well, Get Lang is on a lot of t-shirts here for USA Basketball, and right there she shows why size does not matter inside. And McCautry can't get the whistle, and Melvin almost turned it over. Good hustle by Lindsey Harding to uh, draw the foul by Coco Miller. Sandra McCautry wanted a foul, but right now, McCautry's having a way offensively. She is getting to the cup, and the ref said that Melvin on that play was straight up, and that's why there was no whistle. But defensively, Mystics have got to step up and guard that baseline better. They've got to guard the baseline better, and they have to be aware. When the ball crosses half court, you have to be set in your defense. You can't be turning around. 37-28, under four to play, first half. And almost turned over. Curry saves it, five to shoot. Harney going to crack a deep three, a short. Melvin with the offensive rebound of the Mystics' control. Atlanta is doing a good job. You watch when the Mystics move the ball. They're moving on every pass, so they're very productive in this zone defense. Curry left wing. Off to Smith. 10 to shoot again. Both teams going strictly zone defense in the second quarter. A nice ball fake. Curry. Can she finish? She doesn't, but she picks up the foul on D'Souza. She's got three. Well, now they've got some issues with fouls. Does Atlanta, and you know that Washington is going to be very deliberate when they get ahead of steam going into the lane to attack the rim. Curry, Hardy, Smith, Ajavon, those players have been very headstrong in terms of trying to get the Mystics back into this game. Curry, who has uh, struggled so far tonight, 0 of 6, 1 of 2 for the free throw line, will make the first free throw. Like, uh, Lena Yulichenko will have to check in for D'Souza, another former Mystic with Atlanta now. Playing some backup minutes for the dream. She is, and she's done a solid job coming off the bench, bringing that athleticism and length. Uh, one of two. That's Curry. Surprisingly, just two of four from the field. She's nearly a 90% free throw shooter. Back the other way, Mystics. Price wide open. Jumper is good for Atlanta. And the dream back up by 10. Well, that was just a smart play by Price. She knew that she had Curry on her. I think she thought that Curry knew she was going to probably try to penetrate there, but pulled up the shot instead. Turned over by the Mystics. Here comes Atlanta trying to build on this double-digit advantage. Miller with the jumper. Well, now Atlanta has gotten things going. 10 of 11 in this second quarter offensively. That is some uh, hot shooting time out on the court. Julie Blank has seen it up. 2.51 left before halftime. Atlanta lead the Mystics 41-29. You're watching the WNBA playoffs on NBA TV. Forty-one twenty-nine. Atlanta leading the uh, Mystics. So far, tough sledding for Moni Curry. Uh, just two points, 0 of 6 from the field. And she's got to get going for the Mystics to be in this ball game. They trail by 12. Hey, uh, don't not forget. There's more playoff action coming your way tomorrow. NBA TV has got Indiana against New York. Coverage starts at 7 o'clock, game one of that best of three. Then on Thursday, same night, ESPN 2 has got your coverage at 9. San Antonio and Phoenix. So plenty of basketball to enjoy 
this weekend and, and into the weekend as well. We were talking about Monique Curry. She averages 14 points a game, but she is the X Factor for the Washington Mystics team, as is Crystal Langhorn as well. Langhorn, she's got six now. Another retouch floater in the lane, cuts the Atlanta lead to 41 31 with 2.25 left before the break. McCautry, another three, and she got it to go. She's got 17 first half points. Well, the Mystics are sticking with that zone, and Angel McCautry is just nailing jumper after jumper from behind the arc and out on the perimeter. She's got 12 in this quarter, largest lead of the night for Atlanta, 13 points. Coming up on two to play, first half, Melvin double in trouble, step through, Curry lining up the three, she needed it, and she got it to go. We were talking about her, and, and she's a player like Angel McCautry. She's going to get hot, and you have to understand that about her, but the Mystics right now need to get it done on defense if they want to get back. And they do get it done on defense in a reach and foul on Castro Marquez. And that is the 15th foul, so the Mystics will go to the line to shoot some free throws. A couple of times we've seen Atlanta commit some uh, fouls in the backcourt, putting the Mystics on the free throw line. DC will say thank you very much. We'll shoot some free throws, try to cut this lead. Right, you see Washington is very deliberate in trying to push the tempo, trying to get up the floor, and Atlanta knows that. They need to get themselves out of the way or get in position to get back defensively. Harding misses that free throw as a team. Mystics struggling from the arc. On the line, five of nine. Well, Lindsay Harding is doing the best of her career in terms of assist to turnover ratio, one and a half. Langhorn somehow lost the handle of the Spalding and it's an air ball the other way. Castro Marquez trying to go one on three and that's going to be an offensive foul as Katie Smith takes the charge. Well, that's the second charge for the Washington Mystics, but you know that Atlanta is not going to come down, pass the ball around in their quarter court sets. They want to come down and score the lane first. If they don't have anything there, then they'll bring the ball back out and set. 133 left first half. Mystics trailed by 11. Atlanta's still in the matchup zone. Defensively, 13 to shoot. And they're doing a good job of moving in that zone on the pass. There's Curry left wing, 8 to shoot now. Harding, ball fake. Tough defense from McCautry and cannot get the roll as McCautry comes away with it. And Atlanta controls coming up on a minute to play first half. Well, the switch to zone for Atlanta has proven to be beneficial for the dream. Miller lob down from McCautry to Lachenko off the glass. Can't get it to go. Got her own rebound. If not at first, try, try again, and she gets that one to fall down. And it's back up to 13. Well, that's another second chance opportunity for Atlanta. They have eight second chance points. And just a... Uh, Interesting turnover by Smith, just lost control of it. Goes back to Atlanta with 45 seconds to play in this half. Well, in that win at Atlanta, Washington only had 14 turnovers. And that was big for them because they averaged 17 a game. Marquez, step through, off the window. Well, that's a beautiful move by Marquez once again just gliding through the lane and kissing it off the glass. Atlanta's up by 15 points, Chrissy. Castro Marquez has 12. The Atlanta Dream in this quarter, 13 of 15 from the field. Well, that's blistering offensive productivity. Hardy. Knocked out of bounds. Four to shoot with 11 seconds left in this half. Well, Atlanta is shooting 60% from the floor right now and 60% from behind the arc as well. So this Atlanta Dream Team is very determined right now in this first half to get this win on the road. Smith catch and shoot short. They've got some time, seven seconds. Price can push with five. Off to McCautry. Nobody stops or misses the layup, and that is going to do it for the end of the first half. An unbelievable shooting performance by Atlanta in that second quarter. Angel McCautry's got 17. Castro Marquez has 12. And the Atlanta Dream trying to steal game one on the road, leading the Mystics at halftime, 48-33. Halftime festivities coming up. We're going to send it back to Kyle Montgomery and LaChina Robinson in our NBA TV studios. Again, our score at the break. It's Atlanta 48, the Mystics 33.